mathematical expression and mathematical sentence. So just like in English language, in mathematics, we have expression and sentence. So what is the difference between expression and sentence in math? So let us define what is a mathematical expression. It is a mathematical analog of an English noun, wherein when we say noun, it is a name of person, name of place, or name of things. So example, okay, person, name of a person, cha-cha, name of place, Manila, a thing, calculator. Okay, so those are the example of an English noun. Now, in in English also, kapag sinabi natin English noun, it doesn't state a complete thought. Ganun din kay mathematical expression. It is used to represent a mathematical object of interest. Example are numbers. Okay, or simply number 3 or 5 or any number is an example of expression. Uh, variables. Any variables is an example of expression. Yung mga sets natin. Ano yung mga sets? Example natin ng set. Ito yung set of integers, set of real numbers, or yung set of 1, 3, 5, 7. Okay, those are example of expressions. Next, we have functions. Ito yung x plus 3 or any, any formula is a function. What else? We have the ordered pairs, yung coordinates natin. Kapag nag-graphing tayo ng point, we have 9, comma 3, example. 9 is x, 3 is y. And then also, we have vectors, vectors in physics. Example, 110 newton, 30 degrees south of this. So, those are the example of mathematical expressions. Now, versus to mathematical sentence, what is a mathematical sentence? Okay, it is a mathematical analog of an English sentence. Now, when we say sentence, it should be a complete thought. Example ng isang Sentence sa English ay, kunwari, Chacha buys a calculator in Manila. Kung baga, complete yung thought niya, may subject and predicate. Okay? Now, in mathematical sentence, it is also state a complete thought. And then, it always use the relation symbol, such as equal, not equal, greater than, less than, less than or equal, or greater than or equal. Just like in sentence, meron tayong verb. Ganon din po kay mathematical sentence, we also have a verb. When we say verb in English, it is a action word. Kunwari dito sa ating sentence, yung buys is a action word. Now, ano yung action word natin kay mathematical sentence? Yung mga ginagamit po nating relation symbol. Yun yung ating action word. Okay, example ng isang mathematical sentence, 3 plus 6 equals to 9. So, ibig sabihin, complete yung thought niya. Kasi kung 3 plus 6 lang, okay, anong gagawin natin? Diba? So, kapag may equal, ibig sabihin, ang gagawin mo dyan is to add 3 and 6. So, that is mathematical sentence. And then the verb here is, of course, yung equal sign. Example, 5x equals to 45. So, it is also a mathematical sentence. The verb is equal. x plus y equals to 3. And also, x minus 7 greater than 2. So, those are the example of mathematical sentence. Ang clue niya dyan, kapag may nakita kayong mga relation symbol, mga equal, not equal, greater than, less than, yun po ay mathematical sentence. So, kapag wala, kunwari, kita mo lang ay 5x, expression na po yun. Or, X plus Y, expression po yun. X minus 7, expression yun. 45, expression yun. Okay? Now, in mathematical sentence, it can express true, false, okay, sometimes true or sometimes false idea. So, example, yung first example natin na 3 plus 6 equals to 9. This is a true sentence because 3 plus 6 is really equal to 9. So, paano siya magiging false sentence? Pwede natin baguhin yung plus. You can, pwede natin gawing uh, 3 minus 6. Okay? So, kapag 3 minus 6, hindi na siya true sentence kasi false na po yan. Okay, pwede natin baguhin yung number, yung 3, pwede mong gawing 4, plus 6 equals to 9, so ito, false na siya. O pwede mong baguhin yung 9, yung equal. So, 3 plus 6 equals to 14. Okay, so those are the example of a false sentence. Okay, example, 3 plus 5 equals to 9, false sentence na po yan. Ito ay false, false, false. Okay, next is, we have 5x equals to 45. Ito ay mathematical sentence, but this is sometimes true, sometimes false. Uh, sometimes false sentence. Bakit? Kasi we don't know the value of x here. Okay, pwede siyang true, pwede siyang false. So, magiging true siya kapag ang value ng x natin, let's say, ay equal to 9. Kasi diba, 5 times 9 is equal to 45. So, magiging true sentence siya. But, if we put, let's say, 8 is equal to 45, so it become a false sentence kasi 5 times 8 is not equal to 45. Okay? So, therefore, magiging true siya kapag ang x natin ay equal to 9. Otherwise, this is false. Okay? So, let's, let us try some, some equation. Tell whether the given is mathematical expression or a mathematical sentence. If it is a mathematical sentence, identify natin kung true, false, or sometimes true, sometimes false. Okay? Example ng, okay, number 1, we have 7 equals to 3 plus 4. Okay? In this case, tingnan natin kung expression ba siya or sentence. 
So we have mathematical sentence. And pag mathematical sentence daw, identify natin kung kung true ba, false, or sometimes true, sometimes false. So in this, in this case, we can say that this is true sentence is because 3 plus 4 is really equal to 7. Next, number 2, t plus 5 equals to 2. Okay, yes, this is a mathematical sentence. Now, it is true, false, or sometimes true, sometimes false. Okay, so this is a sometimes true, sometimes false because we don't know the value of our t. Next is negative 1 plus 2 equals to 4. Yes, this is a mathematical sentence. And it is a false sentence. It's because negative 1 plus 2 is not equal to 4. Okay, next natin, 5t minus 3. Okay, this is a mathematical expression. Okay, so kung mathematical expression, we don't need to identify if it is true, false, or sometimes true, sometimes false. Okay, next number 5, 5 minus 3x is equals to 2. So definitely this is a mathematical sentence. Now, ano ba siya? Okay, so this is a sometimes true, sometimes false because we don't know the value of our x. Okay, and for number 6, x minus 1 divided by x plus 2. Okay, definitely this is a mathematical expression. Okay, so that's how we identify the mathematical sentence and mathematical expression.